Hey guys, see this sexy son of a bitch, this three-legged willy. Alexa, turn off radio. This three-legged monster right here, I got this for my videos. Hopefully, I'm gonna improve my channel a lot. Let me know below what you guys think. I should make shorter videos, longer videos, more videos, or less videos, but put more time into thinking about them because I actually just kind of go with the flow. I'm a little ADD. This, this video channel has been kind of a journal. Um, ha, Wall Street Journal, get it? But it's been a journal for me and my uh, coin collecting adventures. Not just coin collecting, but bullion and zoom out on a macro level. <laughs> like I like to think globally first, then focus on personal finances. And this is part of personal finance. I mean, everybody should have gold, silver, real money. And it's a, this is a, diversification because it's gold it's a commodity it's in silver is more of an industrial but it's also a safe haven asset you can hold it it's tangible what's this yeah, i got a couple more for you boys and girls um yeah i'm trying to just make this a little more fun um let's go through the wall street journal weekend review mm, nothing about gold and silver sucks for me but you know what i have been noticing because i've been subscribed to this for a while and I've been noticing, <laughs> 2017, there was no talk about silver and gold. Since November this year, it's been all silver and gold in the Wall Street Journal um, and safety even assets. There's a lot of talk about bonds for a while. People usually go to bonds, which pay nothing, and silver and gold, which at least silver and gold, the gold price, spot price is 13.13, considered a commodity, a barbaric relic. But anyways, I just wanted to just show you guys this. There's FDR, some some say he was a little too uh, socialist back in the day, but um, it's always in between, guys. Politics aside, you gotta be a little bit in between thinker. Um, he tried to create like a social net for people, but it, the problem with government is it's a bunch of bureaucrats, so they took advantage of this and a lot of it became this welfare system later. Did he want that? Probably not, but it says how he's trying to, there was an inequality fix back in the, the rich and poor versus poor. So in the 30s, there was this thing after the crash of 29, I think, the stock market crash. The roaring 20s were kind of like our 2008, seven with real estate being the, like the stock market back then. Um, but real estate was related to stocks. Long story short is we have cycles. And a lot of this I'm getting because I listen to this guy, Ray Dalio. He's a um, hedge fund manager uh, of uh, Bridgewater. Um, it's the biggest, uh, check out his book. It's called The Principles. And then he has another one called Big Debt Crisis. And he's talking about how there's a lot of populism right now. Kind of why Trump got elected and Bernie Sanders and all the socialist talk is uh, popular. but. I don't want to get started on Trump because I know that that can strike a chord either way on a lot of people. I like to be a little bit moderate. I was raised uh, very, I was raised very liberal, which is okay because in some ways it makes me, I don't know, progressive thinking, but I'm also become very fiscally conservative because, you know, that's what our forefathers, did. they were all businessmen. Alexander Hamilton, uh, Adams, uh, Samuel Adams, I'm Samuel Jackson. I don't know, that's a reference to, uh, I'm Samuel Jackson. That's a uh, reference to uh, uh, Chappelle show. But anyways, long story short, you got it. And this is how Ray Dalio thinks is like, don't get too emotional. And there's a psychology, and this, this goes into investing too. You have something called a confirmation bias. So like, don't make your decision first then say, I like this guy or not, when it comes to politics. Don't make your decision first, I like gold, silver, I'm just gonna buy a lot of it. And then as you go along, you find all these things to confirm it. There's something in your brain called the reticular activating system. Whatever is on your mind and you think about, you start seeing a lot. You buy a Honda Accord, that day you buy it, you're driving around, you start seeing Honda Accords everywhere. Why? It's confirmation bias. Reticular activating system. Look it up. It's not a big deal. It's just a psychology thing in your brain. You've got something that tries to focus on whatever you're focusing on. So when I'm thinking about gold, 
hey, that goes back to me. The Wall Street Journal, I start seeing a lot of shit about gold and silver because I'm kind of getting into it as a safe haven insurance policy. Long story short, let's get to this. Uh, let's get to this. So I don't want to get into politics, but I, I do want people to think like not vilify somebody, whether it's Trump, Obama, Bush, Clinton, because of emotional uh, bias. Think first for yourself, and it's easy to say this, but it's difficult to do this because we're all human. But think for yourself, make your own decisions. Don't just try to keep confirming, confirming, confirming. You've got to challenge yourself. You've got to say to yourself, hey, does this wall make sense? Okay, does it make sense economically? Do we have money? Am I being too emotional? Do I just not like Mexicans? By the way, these are tortillas and eggs for breakfast. But do I just not like Mexicans deep down? Eh, maybe not a little bit. Uh, some are okay, you know, this and that. They're not like us, blah, blah, blah. Or is it somewhere in between? Yeah, you know, like we do have security issues. We have financial issues. We have a welfare system. FDR did a lot of that. And it's kind of, did it, what did he, these guys, they don't know the outcome. These politicians, this is the problem with politicians, is they are on four year, uh, every four years they have to get voted. So like, they just want to be liked. So they do things, especially when it comes to populism, they do things that make uh, them get votes and stuff. And so try not to just fall for the person, fall for the ideas, have your ideas first, then make your decisions. But take a data, data, and then make a decision, oh, I'm gonna buy this. So anyways, long story short, damn, this is heavy. And also, uh, yeah, that's kind of the lesson for today. I was just, I don't know, I'm not But also, down below, let me know if you guys just wanna see fucking coins, dude. Like, fuck this guy, like, why the fuck is he on a rant again? I didn't come here for a moral, whatever. Excuse me. Yeah, and yeah, I am eating breakfast while I talk to you guys. Why? Because I'm hungry. And I also have, uh, I don't want to be the guy who's always complaining, but I'm always procrastinating and I have a lot of work to do. Uh, shit. I'm going to get a butter knife. No, butter knife still work. Quickest knife I could find. So, so be careful when you open these sun guns. Cut at the seam because you never know if there's like a slip or something that can uh ah. what is this? It's freaking heavy. Okay, I know what this is. So I've been people have been talking and I've been listening. Um ah. I have so, like I'm super cheap when it comes to investing. I like to invest for value. That's why I'm not investing much in the stock market right now. I like value. So what I normally do is I go for things that are cheap. Like if stocks are, I'm gonna make this pretty for you guys. Um, if stocks are, and see, see this thing? When you see these things in real life and they, have, they haven't been cleaned, you can see this like cartwheel amazing um cartwheel and i love like every eagle is different but like these eagles are like propaganda but they're amazing propaganda because they they show freedom and liberty and they have representation and they this these coins they tell a story this little crest here t tells a story about for canadians they're like damn that's the maple leaf oh yeah you know they get riled up and stuff but u.s mint all these things are plays on our psychology and they give us warmth and good feelings and all that stuff that ah oh, fuck man you you feel this this when you when you grab one of these these actual rolls and by the way if you're just starting start with a little at a time just buy one i was just listening to uh baggins the other day and he was talking about um yeah just start small and that's kind of what i did so like i'm thinking on the same page as some of these guys like i don't just go out and just buy this shit I went on eBay and I used my eBay bucks. Go back a couple videos about my eBay bucks. I use Mr. Rebate to get 1% back and I use a 2% credit card. 2% credit card, just go look up, go on 
uh, mint.com or go on, um, and that's not government, that's mint.com. It's a personal finance uh, blog. Or go on uh, Nerd Wallet and look up what's the best credit card I can get. But by the way, pay off your credit cards every month. So if you, if you, don't, have, if you don't have money, don't, don't buy this on credit. Um, so, so get the 2% back plus the 1% on Mr. E Rebates. And that's not Ebates.com. Ebates.com is different. Ebates.com does not allow eBay uh, cash back on their purchases uh, for coins or bullion. But Mr. Rebates allows it. So they allow coins. So I got this. I got 1%. So that's like 3% back with the credit card and the the bucks or the, the not the e-bucks the e were... Uh, eBay? No, fuck. Uh, sorry, <laughs> guys, I'm, I'm actually hungry, so I just want to finish this video and eat my damn eggs. Um, so anyways, I'm just going to wrap it up. Got these two bad boys. So I've been listening to people. Like, I was being super cheap, and I was just buying stuff at Spot. But once I did my own research, I literally spent four months since September. Actually, back in August. And by the way, I, I used to collect some coins, like, five, 10 years ago, and even a little bit as, as a kid, but now I'm actually doing my own research. YouTube's been awesome. Um, I've been watching Salivate Metal a lot. Uh, Speg Tacular, see I got the name right. Um, God, there's so many others. Gold Y, Junius Math B, uh, so many others, but uh, fuck, like I just talk too much. I just wanna, it's like, shut the hell up metal bum and start opening those goddamn boxes. I want to see some shiny shit. I ain't come here for you. Freaking rant, you bozo. By the way, guys, I have another video coming up soon of me installing a uh, wall safe. Oh, this is cute. Shout outs to, nah, I don't like to advertise, but coin exchange. Um, what I get? Oh yeah, I remember now. This is also on eBay. Got the 10% eBay bucks. Uh, ah, good old fashioned walking liberties. I told you guys before, I love these things. I love it. I forgot the name of the designer, but the guy who did the eagles on the back, it's the best looking eagle. Just Google search right now. Well, let's see if I can get it. Oh, these are dimers. These are dimers. I got them for like 112, minus 10% on eBay bucks, minus the 3%. So I got them for like 90. <laughs> Did I get a, I think I got $10 face for like $9 and something cents with the eBay bucks stacked with the Mr. Rebates stacked with the 2% back. Don't quote me on this, but um, these are all Rosies. Roosevelt's, hey, FDR Roosevelt. It all comes back to this. See how all this shit's tied together? That's why you can't just know about coins. You gotta know a little bit about your, your history, bro. That's the motherfucker right there. That's not him. What the hell is that? He's on that side. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna eat this shit. So I'm gonna read a little bit about this. Then I'm gonna do a little stacking. Then I'm gonna get back to my real estate. Ah, diversification right here. I'm gonna close out on that baby. Peace, peace out, homies.